what's up everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here i'm paris and i make videos all about candle making and the starting and managing of my small candle business lady simone candle co today i am giving you some of my best tips on how you can create your own compelling e-store that will help turn browsers into buyers let's just get started <music> First of all, have a engaging web design or web layout. Let me tell you something. Let me give you a little tip. Something that I learned when I first got started. Let me share something with you. I don't care if you have the best product in your niche or even the best customer service. If the web design layout format functionality is lousy, customers are going to take an exit. Yes, honey. Think about how you shop, right? I know for me, when I'm shopping online and I go to a specific .com website, I pretty much have a general idea of what I'm looking for, right? So if a customer visits my website or yours, and it's a candle business, a candle website, they're typically going to shop for candles, wax melts, the whole nine, right? So customers do not want to jump through hoops trying to figure out where your candles are or where your seasonal scents are or you know certain categorized scents they they, they just want to be able to get there have a easy navigation <laughs> go to checkout and do what they need to do so your web design needs to captivate visitors right have minimal distraction now what you can do is either pay a pretty penny for a web designer to do that for you or learn the whole web design code. I know for me, she ain't got time for that. And then when I first started, that definitely was not in my budget. It's still in that, still not in my budget. But luckily, you have e-commerce um, engines like Shopify, WooCommerce, places like that that make designing a website a lot more simpler. They have templates, all that good stuff. Next have a great about me page or an about us page yes customers that navigate to your website i know for me i typically like to read up on um, especially like small businesses black owned businesses i like to go and read about who they are how they got started a little bit of their background story and sometimes your about me page or your about us page typically determines whether or not you keep a customer or even lose a customer because they're they're navigating there to understand your values, what you represent, what products you offer, and if it aligns with their pockets, right? And so you want to create a compelling about us page. This is where you can kind of, you know, tap on your shoulder a little bit, let them know who you are and um, what you represent. It doesn't hurt to, you know, add contact information unless you want to use that for you know a separate page like a contact us page i know for me i kept that separate but you can absolutely put your contact information where they can reach you on the about us page where they can follow you and all that good stuff so you want to make sure you have a compelling about us or an about me page offer excellent customer service that is my next tip this is where customers want to feel secure right after i invest in your business by buying a product supporting your business um, i want to know that you got my back after the purchase okay so if i need to contact you you know should something go wrong or should something not be working properly or in our industry you know what if the candle you know doesn't burn properly or if it breaks during transit that's not gonna happen <laughs> um, just anything where customers want to reach you or maybe it's 
it could be anything. Maybe it's not the scent that they were looking for, or um, maybe one of the wax melts came cracked. It could be anything. Um, think about the pickiest customer you might have, right? To more of the easygoing customer. Either way, they wanna know how they can reach you. And so the best way to do that is to provide excellent customer service. That could be through a live chat option. Um, I know Shopify has plugins. A lot of e-commerce engines have plugins like that. Or they can contact you through, you know, especially in today's age, social media DMs. Um, I know for me, I provide an email like completely separate from my business email. So I have like support at ladysimonecandleco.com that they can email me. And I also turned on an auto reply to let them know that I will get back to them within 24 hours. So they don't have to wonder, I wonder when she's gonna get back to me and answer my question. And then you also wanna make sure in your response that um, your tone is very pleasant, you're very accommodating, understanding, have it in your mind that the customer is always right. Yes, I know that can be difficult sometimes, but you wanna treat them like VIPs, regardless if they bought a $5 product or a $100 product. Um, you can also provide a business phone number. I know I do not currently have a business phone number, but that's something that I definitely wanna offer soon. Um, but either way, when customers spend their coin, they wanna know they can contact you and you got their back should something happen. Next, offer a wide variety of payment options. Look, we are in a new day and age, okay? We don't, there's, there's the, the world has provided so many more ways to be able to um, check out, right? So you wanna be able to accommodate this, <laughs> accommodate a wide variety of customers that wanna give you their money. <laughs> so of course your major credit cards, you know, of course debit cards, um, offer PayPal, offer Apple Pay, um, and things like that. And typically, the major e-commerce engines such as Shopify, WooCommerce, Square, Squarespace, all that good stuff, they typically already have that, right? They update them. The, those companies update as the world updates. <laughs> so they know to supply or at least give you the option to turn on those functions so that customers are able to check out in, in a variety of ways. Um, another way is to give them the option to create an account. I know a lot of customers like to be able to have an account. It makes them feel special. They can just log in, their stuff is already saved in there, or they've been able to rack up points um, by being like a VIP or by having an account with you. And so they're able to easily redeem points that can apply during checkout. Don't even have to worry about that. So you wanna be able to look into these type of plugins or features when you're looking for a place that can host your website or your e-commerce store. So that way you can accommodate the most wide variety of customers. My next tip is build buyer trust with a rating system or somewhere where they can see reviews. And so again, this can be a this is a plugin option. I know Shopify has this plugin and I use it on my Shopify store. And so look, because you're an online store, customers can't see you. They can't touch you. The store isn't tangible. So they need or they choose to rely on prior customer purchases or prior customer reviews and feedback to help gauge their purchases as well. So this can build buyer trust immensely. So I do recommend, this is probably one of my biggest tips, to include some type of ratings or review system via a plugin or what have you um, on your website so they can, so customers have the option to kind of browse and read through what other prior customers um, have said. Offer free shipping incentives. That is my next tip. It can, and you can use this any way you want to. So you can either operate your online store um, or your shipping strategy can include just free shipping, period. Um, I, and, and if you have a question on pricing strategy, I do have a video on that. Um, I'll link it up here in the cards. So you can kind of incorporate that in your pricing strategy or you can offer shipping incentives over a certain dollar amount that's the um, strategy I use. So if they pay X amount of dollars or total order 
they can qualify for free shipping or even as a new customer um, hey if you opt in to my email list or if you join the VIP list for my website create an account um, you not only can get 10% off your first order but you can also get free shipping so you can kind of play around with the free shipping incentives but come on now what customer doesn't like free shipping <laughs> that's saving them some money so that is one way to be a compelling um, e-store compelling business owner is offering incent in incentives such as that to kind of grasp the customer's attention get them to sign up to you get them to engage with you and obviously be a return customer my next tip is use ready to go design tools and elements and so I've kind of been mentioning this and throwing this out there throughout the throughout this video but again Shopify big commerce WooCommerce Squarespace all those stores that specialize in e-commerce online store hosting typically will recommend as you're browsing their templates right they're already ready to go templates right um, all you really have to do is design and kind of you know look at your layout and figure out what you want to where you want to put things pictures and text and all that stuff but they typically already recommend to you while you're browsing um, stores that are accommodating to either your industry or the type of products you offer that you're offering or just kind of an overall here are the templates that are best for you know product businesses such as ourselves right we offer candles and wax melts and assess you know candle accessories and things like that and then here are templates that are appealing for people that sell apparel here are templates that cater to those um, that have that sell food or that sell you know cookies or like they have recommended recommended templates according to either your industry or what type of products that you offer so I suggest when you're browsing what type of hosting service you want to use you know Shopify WooCommerce whomever that you kind of not only look through their paid and or free templates but also look at the different filters and category categories and see what best fits your category like candles or products right smell goods things like that and they can typically filter out what template my next tip is making sure that your e-store is mobile friendly we know in today's age our phones are pretty much attached to our hip that's just we go everywhere this is a fast-paced world now and actually a lot of shop a lot of um phones count for a lot of shopping now online shopping because it's on the go we can do it really quick all that stuff so when you're designing your e-store you also want to make sure um, that it is mobile friendly a lot of like i said those big name brand e-stores such as shopify woocommerce and all that stuff they typically have that feature where you can it's like built in already where they accommodate your design from a mobile mobile's perspective um, and so you want to make sure your design elements um, are that looks presentable in a vertical view um, ver you know and a horizontal view so that can be kind of tough to kind of crack but you just want to kind of look for those features and those tools that can help make sure that um, your design and your layout of your website is mobile friendly so that way when customers are scrolling through your e-store on their phone they can still see everything and my last big tip is take advantage of email marketing. Yes, a lot of customers sign up to email. I am on several emails of stores and online stores that I love to shop at. Why? Because it makes you feel not only special, you kind of become like a VIP to the company, but you also get like exclusive discounts and offers and points and all that good stuff by by allowing by becoming a VIP or a loyal customer so offer a way that your customers can opt in to your email service so it could be a pop-up it could be at checkout it could be halfway while they're browsing if they've been on the site for X amount of minutes a pop-up can come through um, and uh, again offer them an incentives like 10% off your first purchase sign up to my email list blah 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 um, you can offer um, a referral 
point system. You can offer um, a system where if they buy so many or spend X amount, they can earn X amount of points, all that good stuff. And then that way you can either send like a weekly or monthly newsletter to your customers, engage with them, let them know any new scent releases or new product releases, holiday sales, um, anything like that. You can also just randomly offer them exclusive discounts and perks as well. Customers love that. That's why many of us sign up <laughs> for websites because we want to take advantage of those exclusive um, perks and discounts and things like that. So definitely take advantage of email marketing. Again, big engine hosting sites, they typically already offer this feature within, the, um, within their hosting service. So it's just a matter of, you know, Writing, writing an email, getting started with your email templates, and just kind of navigating that part of the service that they offer. So take advantage of that. So those are my biggest tips for creating a compelling e-store. These are tips that I have actually incorporated over the past two and a half years of being in business so far. Um, a lot of which I updated and incorporated during my rebrand back in May of this year. Um, so. Hopefully you were taking some notes. It is okay to receive constructive criticism. Um, I've, I, got, I have customers that are now my friends, customers that are my friends. Um, I received um, great help and feedback from my coaches and things like that. Um, so you definitely want to take heed um, to those who kind of already been there, done that, because it's only gonna help you be better. And part of being a business owner and a boss is listening to other professionals and investing in resources and other businesses and services that can help you and your business be great and be what you've envisioned. Thank you to those who participated in the giveaway with my collaboration with Marilyn Wax Club. She has also offered a discount code to you all. So if you head over to her website, which is beautiful, by the way, just want to throw that out there. Her design layout is, is tight. <laughs> if you head over there, you can save 5% off your purchase by using the code LADYC5. It is a one-time purchase. However, after you have purchased something from her, you do get a thank you code um, that does not expire. So you can always save some coin by shopping with Mika over at Maryland Wax Club. Also, if you are interested in website audits, I actually provide a service of website auditing. It is one of my newest services on my website, parisynorthcut.com. Um, you can get to it by clicking the link in my description box under all things Lady C that actually takes you to all of my links, including my coaching program where you can enroll now. But I do offer a website audit service where I help you get set up specifically with Shopify, should that be your choice of your e-commerce hosting site. Um, and I help you set up the back end of your site, help you choose a layout, help you with pricing strategy, and help you get um, everything set up for your e-store. Or if you're already set up and want a second pair of eyes on it and want to do some changes, rebranding, or um, change or update your layout designs or just get my opinion I do have a website auditing service that you can opt into um, I actually have a few clients now that I am working on their website and I'm super excited about it um, it's something fun because the designing part of the candle business is always my most enjoyable part aside from the actual craft and so I love being able to help others get their sites up and going as well I absolutely love Shopify. I have no complaints thus far after being in business of two and a half years, but you definitely can choose any site of your choice. Um, so just go ahead and check that out if you're interested. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Don't forget, again, my coaching program is open now. Enrollment is open. Again, you can get access to that in the bio as in the description box as well or in my IG bio. So make sure you're following me on all my platforms, okay? You should be by now. I love y'all and talk to you soon. Bye.